Another common data transformation that we do in Power Query is to apply group by to certain columns in the data. Now, when we apply group by, we are going to be essentially summarizing our data by one of the data columns or some of the data columns. So this is more or less like summarizing similar details together. Instead of having them detailed line by line, we are going to be grouping them together as far as they represent the same group or the same categories of data. So if I go to my desktop, open up my Power Query Essentials folder, I have a number seven workbook there called Group By. In my Group By workbook, I have two worksheets and these two worksheets have two different data sets that we are going to be using for the examples. So if you look at group by one from the first worksheet, you will see that um, we have like replication or duplication of some of the customer names. And in as much as we probably will not need to use this data set up to this detailed level, what we can actually do is to group the customers so that someone like Felina, for example, that has three different transactions, all the three transactions can be grouped together into one single transaction. And customers like Maria as well that has several transactions can have all those transactions grouped together into one single transaction. So that essentially is going to be us grouping this data by the customer name column. Let's go to take a look at what we have in group by two. So in the group by two worksheets, it is also possible for us to group by several columns. So it is not every time that we group by a singular column. So sometimes we have to group by multiple columns. So in the group by two data, for example, you are going to see that on the 1st of January 2014, we have four first class shipment mode transactions. So what we can do is to group all of them together so all first class shipments on the 1st of January, we can group that into one singular first class and just aggregate the sales quantity and the discount. We can do the same thing for a standard class and also repeat the same thing essentially for all the remaining parts of the data. So you will see that there is also another group of first class ship mode transactions on the 2nd of January, which we are also going to group together. So let's see how to do this in Power Query. So on a fresh Power BI, I'm going to get data from Excel workbook and I will be connecting to number seven, group by. And I'll import both worksheets at the same time. Click transform data to open up my Power Query editor. And I'm going to start with group by one. Now, if you want to apply a group by in Power Query, it is best that you start by selecting the column that you want to use for your grouping. Then you can go to the transform tab where you are going to see the group by button right here. Or if you are comfortable with looking far away, you can also remain on the home tab and just go to your right hand side where you are going to see the group by button right there. Now, alternatively, you can actually just right click on the selected column or selected columns where you will also find an option to group by. So I will use this current option to group by. And by default, our group by has two options. There is a basic grouping and there is an advanced grouping. Now, if you have to group by a singular column alone, that is one singular categorical column and one singular quantitative column, then we are going to use the basic. So for example, I'm just going to remain on the basic, for example, to say that I'm grouping by customer name. And when I group by customer name, how do I want to apply customers that have repeated names like this? I basically will say that we like to sum up their sales values. So I'm going to go to the form to say my new column name, I probably want to call that total sales. And the operation I want to apply is to do a sum of the sales column. Now, if we do this, that means we are getting rid of the quantity column, right? So if you want to do grouping, 
where you have to apply your grouping on more than a singular category of data or a singular quantity of data then we are going to need to use the advanced option so that i can click add aggregation and i can also add my total quantity and the operation is going to be a sum of my quantity column and when i click ok you will see that i have a more summarized version of the data set that has essentially removed the duplicates from the customer names and just group all their total sales together where the customers are the same thing now let's go to group by two so for group by two i want to be able to group by two columns at the same time so that for example for my ship mode where i have first class first class first class the same first class on the same day, 1st of January 2014, I may want to group all of them together into a singular one and repeat the same thing for the entire values that we have under the order date and the ship mode column. Now, following my format, you know that you have to select the order date column. Hold control to select the ship mode column because I am grouping by two columns at the same time. Then I can right click on any of the headers of the two columns I selected and select group by and you will see that automatically that already selects the advanced grouping for us. My new column name that I have here is I want to have one for my total sales. The operation is going to be the sum of my sales column. I'm going to add aggregation create another one for my total quantity and that is going to be the sum of my quantity column. I can also add another aggregation for something like average discounts which is going to be an operation of average of my discount column. Then I'm going to click OK and you will see that we now have a summarized version of the same data. Now, one thing you have to note is sometimes you have data that has multiple columns or multiple categorical columns like this. If you group by only one of your categorical columns, you are essentially deleting every other categorical column that you have. So, for example, now I have this data that has order dates and it also has ship modes. Now, if I really don't care about the order dates, if I don't care about the order dates, then I can still group by only the ship mode. Go to my advanced option, create my total sales as the sum of my sales column, add aggregation. For my total quantity as the sum of my quantity column add the third aggregation for my average discount as the average of my discount column now when i click ok what is going to happen is i am grouping my data by the ship mode column and because i have ignored my order date column in this situation then my order date column will essentially be deleted so if i click ok like this i'm going to have a summarized version of the data set based on the ship mode which we have just two versions of the ship mode first class and standard class and the date becomes irrelevant so i have basically grouped by ship mode only but that's not the case here so i can come back to my grouped rows do a right click and i'm going to edit settings so i can have back this dialog box and i simply don't want to group by ship mode only so i can come back to edit my grouping by adding a second column for my grouping which is order date and i'm going to click ok here and we are going to be back in order